Missouri is on the verge of expanding tax breaks and public funding for private schools. The Missouri House narrowly passed the controversial proposal, sending it to Governor Parson's desk. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has new reaction from teachers on how it could impact their work. Kelly and Ann, good evening. School choice supporters compared education to private industry where capitalism and competition drive some businesses to succeed and gobble up market share. But opponents said that can also open up other struggling schools to more risk and sometimes to closure. We met high school teacher Nate Gibson on the picket line outside Kip High School. Right now we're dealing with turnover where it's 50% year to year. We have people leaving during the year and that results in gaps in coverage. It results in gaps in our students' education. Students here experience what many do in Missouri classrooms. I'm a social studies teacher. They had me in a geometry class, uh, which was run online, running that class, which I'm not certified to do. Uh, and my math skills, a little iffy over the last couple of years, but I tried to help the best I can, but it's not the same as having a math teacher. The local teachers union opposed the new state plan to use public money to expand tax breaks and fund private schools. There's little public oversight over their expenses. Senate Republican Andrew Koenig wrote that bill. We basically have a government monopoly. His plan would pay to help students from wealthier families leave public school and pay for tuition at private school. And sometimes I disagree with the values that are being taught in the public school. And so um, I, I want that option to get the education that my kids deserve. House Democrats said the better alternative was to support public schools so they can serve everyone. Not only serve everybody, take everybody back when charter schools fail. When is that happening? Yes. That's oh, not a hypothetical? No. Where is that happening? 50% of charter schools in the city of St. Louis have failed over the last decade. Byron Clemens is with AFT 420. Most students in the U.S. are public school products. Mo most people still depend on their local public school districts. While his group opposed the idea, it has actually some good things in it. He hopes those parts are more than just empty promises. There's some money Theoretically, it's not in the budget yet, but uh, for teacher salaries, we happen to statewide have one of the lowest uh, uh, pays for teachers in the country. Governor Parson did indicate general support for ideas like this in his budget speech this year, but his office says he's still reviewing specifics before making any decision about this bill, signing it into law.